Hey friends, John McLennan here, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to play Slow Burn as recorded by Casey Musgraves on guitar. This is an incredible song, and it uses just one main progression and a few variations. I'm gonna break it all down for you step by step. Now keep in mind the main acoustic guitar part on this song is in an open tuning. I'm gonna show you the progression today in standard tuning just for ease of learning. But before we dive into it, I wanna give you a gift right away and hook you up with something, put something in your hand. At the first link down below, I've got a free tab sample pack. And these are some exclusive downloads that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. So check that out as my gift to you. And with that said, let's dive into this song. Let's learn how to play Slow Burn as recorded by Casey Musgraves on guitar. We're gonna start off with the intro, which is actually the same progression as the chorus. And it's our main progression for the song. Here's what it sounds like. We're gonna use four chords for this section. Let me show you those chords first. We're gonna start with an A, and that's gonna be played from the fifth string down like this. Open, two, 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 open. Then we'll go to an E minor, and that's all six strings. Open, two, two, open, open, open. Then we'll go to a G. You can play any, any G that's comfortable for you. I like this one here, third fret, and then mute the fifth string, open, open, third fret, third fret. And then the last chord is like a D sus. It's like a suspended sound. This is gonna be from the fifth string down, five, four, open, three, open. And it's a great chord that looks like a C, right? But moved up two frets. So in context, it's going to go A, E minor, G, D sus. Now each chord is lasting two beats. So one, two, switch, two, G, two, switch, two. Then if you want to add a little strumming to that, you could play So what I'm playing here is just one E and a, two E and a. So it's a little two beat pattern. It's gonna go down, up, down, and then down, down, up. Down, up, down, 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 up. Or one E and a, two E and a. So that's two sixteenths and then an eighth note. Then an eighth note and two sixteenths. So da, 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 da. And then you go to the next chord. So you would put that with each chord. There's a little lick you could do. So there I started with the A chord, but with the second string open. And then I on the second strum, I put it down. One E and a two E and a three E. That's our intro. Then Casey comes in singing, here, born in a hurry. That's what starts the verse, and that goes like this. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so YouTube will let you know when I post another video just like this. So this is a cool little twist to the chord progression here. What we do is we start out the same way. We go A to E minor, G to D sus. But the second time, we're gonna trade out one of those chords, the second chord we're gonna play. So instead of going A to E minor, we're gonna go A to C, then G to D sus. So it's gonna be a four bar progression. Here's what that sounds like. A, E minor, G, D sus, then A, 
C G D sus. That's gonna be repeated three times, and then we go to the chorus, and this is where Casey sings Slow Burn, and that's just the intro chord progression again. We do this four times for the chorus. Two more times. Then we go back to the verse chord progression. Now after we play the verse chord progression, we play the second verse, then we go to the chorus again, and that's chorus two. After chorus two, we go to the bridge. So let me play a little bit of the bridge. We've got one new chord shape. Here's what it sounds like. So we're starting out on that new chord, C major seven. And that's a C without the index finger. So it's just a two finger C chord. That's gonna last for a bar. Then we'll go to E minor for a bar. Then we go back to the verse progression. Then we have four more bars of the bridge. Here we're gonna play two of A. Then we do the latter half of the verse chord progression. So A, C, G, D. Again, if you're having trouble, just click the link below where you can get the handout. So after this, we go to a breakdown, which returns back to the verse chord progression. Then we do the final verse, and we just fade out on that chorus. Chord progression, which is the same as how the song started. Congrats on making it through this song lesson. I hope you got some value out of today's video. Before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And this is gonna make learning from my YouTube lessons so much easier and effective. So check that out as my gift to you. And let me know what song I should teach here next on the channel. Just comment the song down below. Thanks for your support here on the channel and we'll see you in another video real soon.